Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly love reading for April 16th through the 22nd. We're going to get two of these oracle cards. We're going to get one of these and one of those. We're going to reveal it at the end unless it flips over while I'm shuffling. Then you'll get to see it now. I want you to take what resonates and just leave the rest because the whole thing might not resonate with you. Just take what does, okay? So these two both fell out and I'm going to take them both because when they fall out like that, you really can't ignore it. All right. So the first one is keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Okay. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. If you are being guided to do something, do it. Pisces. What do we have for Pisces for this week? And usually, like I said, my readings are love readings, so... Let's just see whatever comes up. So I think that you are being called to look at something from a new perspective, okay? You're being called to take action, to speak up, to communicate. I feel like you guys have been struggling with something. Maybe you're struggling with letting go of somebody or something. You may be... Um, really closed off both of these are looking at things from a new perspective you really need to look at something differently i mean that's both the message in both these cards are to really open your eyes and see things differently are you open to the possibilities now that's the question here somebody is is afraid of a commitment here this is the master of non-attachment is somebody afraid of commitment? You know, I feel like you've learned something big. A really big lesson has been learned. I'm not sure how it's been learned, but it's been learned. And maybe you're being offered a new beginning or you're being called to offer a new beginning because you've learned something. Something has been learned and now maybe it's time to start something else, start something new. Um, yeah, there's a lesson that has absolutely been learned, okay? Because these are both lessons, okay? It's funny because these two have similar energies and these two have similar energies. These are both lessons. Something has been learned, okay? And you are being called to speak up about how you're feeling I feel like it is time for you to do the right thing, okay? Because the Page of Pentacles is about in integrity. And it's about finding your moral backbone to rise and take charge in regards to what you really want to do, what you've learned.
You've learned something and now it's time to take action. That's what I see. I think that you have a lot of fears. Maybe you fear that if you do take action, you're going to be rejected. Yes, I feel like there is a lot of indecision here about a choice that what if, what's going to happen? What if what if this isn't doesn't turn out the way that I hoped? I feel like you will have to live with the consequences of your choice either way. If you don't take action, then you have to live with that choice. If you do take action, then you got to live with that choice. Either way, a choice needs to be made. You can't live in this indi indecisive state forever, can you? I mean, you can. That's what you know, right, Pisces? Undecided. What should I do? But I can see that you've learned a big lesson and you've probably went through some major changes. Something has changed you in a very big way. And now it's time for you to do the right thing. And I know that you're thinking about something. I think maybe maybe you're thinking about going back to a situation or thinking about leaving your old ways behind or you're thinking about a commitment. You're thinking. I'm thinking. A lot of analyzing going on here. You could be dealing with a Taurus. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Both. Okay, this is Taurus. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Gemini. Okay, so, so far, and this is Pisces. So, it's you being indecisive about, what the hell should I do? Okay, I feel like there's been an end of a contract, an end of a partnership that you're probably not happy about. You're indecisive about whether you should let this really go or not. I feel like there's a loss of faith and probably somebody isn't really listening to their inner guide here. Their inner guide's telling them what to do. They're telling them what the right thing is to do, but they're ignoring it. Somebody isn't feeling stable and secure. They feel like some a dream has died. My dream of happily ever after has died. Probably with a soulmate, because this is a soulmate connection. Some dream is died because somebody fears commitment. Somebody doesn't want commitment, or they didn't want commitment. Something is very insecure and unstable here, or it has been. There's like a there's like a part. There's a soulmate connection here, and I think that. Somebody is really unhappy with how it turned out. I think there's been a breakup for sure. There's been some sort of breakup that is really heavy on your mind. And it's been a real struggle. But you've learned something through this breakup. Something has changed within you. There's a lot of um, disharmony unhappiness there's been an ending of a partnership that is weighing heavily on your mind and it's taught you something okay I mean that's what this is and I feel like you guys may be wanting to offer love in some direction okay Perhaps um, somebody is wanting to deliver a message, maybe that's you or somebody else, a message of love, but they don't dare to. There's opportunities in love here. There is. There's opportunities in love, but somebody is very undecided about where to go. What do I really want? I feel like there's a, there's a, a dream that feels like it has died and now I'm not even sure about love. So what the hell is going on this week for Pisces? What's going on? There could be some family feuds going on in your life right now. That's really opening your eyes. There could be feuds with the family. Somebody could be moving out. Maybe you want to move out. It's like you're realizing the truth, Pisces. This is a Pisces card as well. Somebody is realizing the truth of a situation.
somebody is afraid to start over. They're afraid to go down a, a new road, afraid to take a risk. But really disappointed with how things have turned out. There's a lot of disappointment here. Somebody is having some regrets over a loss. And that's all they can think about is what has happened, how this happened, and it's hurtful. Something Somebody is hurting. And I don't know if it's you or the person you're dealing with, but somebody is really hurting. They have, they have a lot of regrets. I feel like you are being called to have strength. You are being called to find the power within you to take action. Find the strength to do what you have to do, Pisces. You can face your fears. You're in control of yourself. It's time to master your emotions. And bring the stability and the security back to your life that has been lost. You could be dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with an Aries. You could be dealing with another Pisces. I feel as though right now is a time to restore the control that in the balance, in the structure that has been lost from your life, from whatever the scenario is. Something has been chaotic and out of balance and I feel like you need to take some time to bring it back. And it may take courage to take action because this is courage, okay? I think you're gonna have to take some, have some courage to, ha you know, that involves a leap of faith and I feel like you, you're you afraid, perhaps, of rejection. Because this is regrets and rejection and loss. So I feel like somebody is afraid of being rejected. Although they have some regrets over a loss. They're, but so they're, anyway, they're being called to find the strength and the confidence and the courage to take action and let go of whatever happened and, and start over. Somebody has gained a lot of wisdom through suffering. And that's what I see. It's time to do the responsible thing. The tower. There could be some sort of event that changes your life, or it has changed your life. It has made you into a different person. I believe there is going to be some sort of divinely guided wake-up call event uh, happening that opens your eyes to the truth and hopefully pushes you in the right direction. Whatever is happening, whatever this event is, this is a universally guided event that changes your life. It's going to ask you to have the strength and the courage and the willpower to overcome loss and regrets. And do the responsible thing to restore harmony, balance, control, structure to your life. I feel like there's an opportunity for new love or reconciliation. You know, that may be accepted. Because th something has changed. The wheel has spun. Something, this means that this is, a, this is destiny. 
The Wheel of Fortune is destiny. Something is destined to change here. It's destined to be. I believe there's a soulmate connection here that you are destined to deal with this week. <laughs> Unfortunately. Whatever this is, this is universally guided. When you have a tower moment, it brings you in a blessing in disguise, even though it may not seem like a blessing at the time. And this could have happened in the past. There could have been some kind of breakup, or because there's been a breakup with the lovers and the two of cups and this, there's been a breakup here that has changed how you look at life, how you look at things. You, it's changed you. And I feel like whatever has happened, happened for a reason. It was destined to happen. This is destiny. So that things could change for the better. Because the Wheel of Fortune brings in a positive change of course. Whatever's happening, there's a new chapter right in front of you, Pisces. Life isn't a competition. It's all about being the best that you can be. You don't have to compete with anybody. There may be a little bit of tension this week because this is tension and competition. You may feel like you're up against the world. The world's up against you. Just do the best that you can do. You may be dealing with a Capricorn or an Aries Leo Sagittarius that has caused a lot of tension in your life. Maybe this person was very, this is the devil card, sexy, and maybe they opened your eyes. Maybe they caused you a lot of conflicts. Maybe they lied to you. Maybe they had a lot of competition. Maybe they used you, I don't know, for sex. That could be the case. Whatever is happening is bringing you closer to where you're supposed to be. And I know that's hard to explain. But I feel like there's been a false bond here with somebody that has really opened your eyes to, to the truth of a, a past situation. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Is money more important than love? That could be the case. Look at this, four and four. These are both about foundations. It feels as though someone is recovering from a loss or they have recovered from a loss. They may be only focusing on their job, their money, their finances. And they may be, you may be quite content with that, Pisces. Maybe that's just where you want to be. There could also be a gathering that you go to this week. Some kind of gathering. Where you come in contact with somebody that you have been trying to avoid. Or they've been trying to avoid you. 
whatever's happening this week is probably it's for the better and it's probably not going to seem like it's for the better I feel like you have been through some sort of test and that you know right now perhaps as far as love goes things are stalled because you may not be wanting to communicate you may be not be wanting to compromise and you may be just wanting to focus on you your job your finances I feel like you've learned a really big lesson and you're indecisive in regards to love. You may not want any partnership at all because you've been so hurt. Somebody is weighing heavily on your mind or something. And I feel like there's going to be some sort of happening could be at this event that I'm seeing. There could be some sort of happening that changes your life. And it may not be, you may not see it as a blessing when it happens, but it is. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. What are the steps? I, You know what they are. What does your heart body, mind, and soul I'll tell you to do, Pisces. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Keep an open mind. Self-love. And that's probably what's going on this week. Now is the time to love, nurture, and heal yourself. <laughs> this is probably exactly what's it. Self-love is not simply a state of mind about feeling good. It's a state of appreciation for yourself that grows and matures from actions you take to support your body, mind, and soul. It's funny. I just mentioned body, mind, and soul. I don't even... This is unbelievable the way they come to me with these messages. It's crazy. It really is. Anyway, I feel like this is a week of you working on yourself and not putting any effort really into a relationship. That's what I have. Talk to you later.